A former federal minister has called on Putrajaya to allow more counseling centers to operate and not ban people from exercising in parks following the recent spike in suicides attributed to movement restrictions. DAP's Teresa Koch said studies had shown that physical inactivity significantly heightened suicidal behavior. She said that while the government was trying to contain the COVID-19 pandemic via movement control orders in various states, it was high time the administration look seriously into the current rise in mental illness cases and suicides. She added that no matter how much the government, elected representatives and the private sector tried to feed the poor, they were unable to help reduce mental stress. Cox said charitable acts, like distributing food, would not effectively reduce suicide rates in the country, adding that the focus must be on mental health. Koch also said that apart from suicide rates, the nation was also witnessing a spike in domestic violence, which has been referred to as a pandemic within a pandemic. The Women's Aid Organization, she said, had confirmed that domestic violence cases were at crisis levels, months after the lockdown. And many domestic violence victims had nowhere to turn to when they desperately needed counseling and temporary shelters. On Thursday, SID Director Abdul Jalil Hassan said the nation recorded 468 suicide cases from January to May, an average of three suicide cases every day. Salanga recorded 117 suicides in the first five months of this year. By comparison, Johor recorded 101 suicides throughout 2019 and last year. 